Hi everyone, uh, driving home, or actually no, I'm driving to, driving to the college, it's my night to work at the college, um, and I thought of a story I wanted to tell you, uh, it has to do with a place called Silver City, Idaho, um, you can look it up, it's still there, um, I looked it up just last week, but it is what's called a ghost town that was left uh, from around the 1890s or early 1900s there was a silver mine uh, that was um, dug and they took silver out of there for years until it ran out and then the town was deserted the town is uh, now is still there and it has it's full of a bunch of empty houses and stores and that sort of thing and um, and I believe I don't know that it's a like a state park or something but I do believe it's a state protected area and um, so when I was when I was small uh, we went there a couple of times it seems like it was a pretty long drive from where we lived in Mountain Home Idaho um, but um, to get there you have to drive a long way on the highway and then you have to drive quite a ways on a, on a gravel or dirt road sorry wow it's really bright I can see my I can see me in the camera and I can see how bright the sun is today um, but anyway so I was so so we went there the first time I believe it was just Uncle Joel Mama uh, Janet and Papa Doug and we drove there to see it and if I remember correctly before you get to the town beside the road there's the actual mine and you can get out and walk up to it and look down in it and I suppose you probably could go in it but I don't believe that we did that but I do remember <clears throat> that it was when you look down in there it was really dark and like cold air was was coming out of it and then you go a little ways and you go over a hill and there's this town and, and it looks just like something out of a out of a western <clears throat> old western movie and uh, and so I remember that that time we went and looked at it and I don't believe there was anybody there at that time except us then and I probably was maybe in the fourth or fifth grade I honestly don't remember um, I do remember it was when we still lived in the trailer park in Mountain Home uh, and we had not moved to the house and then we went a second time and this time we went and we camped uh, we took uh, the big old tent that Momo and Papa had and um, and stayed there for for one or two nights and at that time there was a a couple who probably seemed well they were grown-ups but I'm pretty sure I look back on it now and they were a young couple and they had opened up the general store so you could go in there and buy <clears throat> camping stuff and food and I remember they had like old-fashioned candy and jars that they that they were selling and I believe again I don't remember much of this but I think mama and papa talked to them a little bit and it was something that they were trying to do uh, to start a little business there when when tourists came uh, to see the town <clears throat> and um, so <clears throat> and another thing that I remember on the way out um, we were the, the plan was we were gonna drive out and we were gonna camp one more night on the on the edge of uh, basically civilization um, at the end of this gravel road but in order to get to and from this place you had to drive over the ford of a river and the ford is like a, a a shallow place that that you can drive through uh, I suppose at one time it would have been horses and and uh, and buggies and of course in our time it was a pickup truck uh, that Papa had but as we were as we were going to cross it I, some uh, some people had gotten stuck in this old station wagon and so we stopped and Papa spent I don't know it seems like hours helping them dig that car out so that they could uh, they could go on and finish their trip and uh, and then I remember the, the recollection I have it is that mama and papa had said that maybe we should just go on home because papa was wet and sweaty and dirty and if we you know we could go on home and, and spend the night at home and I remember that we protested and said that they had promised that we could stay one more night 
And so they decided to do that, but I remember feeling guilty about that then, and I feel guilty about it now, that we had, you know, again, we, we didn't need to spend one more night on the ground, and Papa had to set up that, that big old tent and, and, you know, sleep on the ground again after he'd worked hard to, to help those people get unstuck. So anyway, that being said, um, I was going to suggest that uh, watching this, that you look up Silver City, or I get a hurry, uh, um, or um, uh, so that you can see the pictures of it. I, I think it's it's really a neat place. So okay, that's my story for today. Love you.